So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing that we talk about, and this is under center now, I like the quarterback to be uh, balanced. I like him to be, he can go ahead and have his non-dominant foot back. Now you'll hear me talk a lot about dominant and non-dominant. And the reason that is, is I've had a lot of left-handed quarterbacks. And it's really easier to use that terminology when you have both righties and lefties, as opposed to say, hey, righties, you use your left foot, lefties, you use your right foot type deal. So it's, I do it to try to save time as we're talking to it. I like the feet slightly inside the shoulders if you're under center. Okay, I like the knees slightly bent. As I said, the non-dominant foot can be back a little bit, and I want to stand tall with the hands underneath the center. If you're in the shotgun, we stand, our, our toes, depending on the play, is somewhere between five and six yards from behind the center. We always have our dominant foot forward. We always have our dominant foot forward for two reasons. One, we feel that creates a little more separation when you step back. Two, I like the dominant foot and the feel of that with one step as a timing thing and also to get the place, uh, the weight uh, transition correctly as you're taking your drop. All right, so I want to talk what I think is the basic throwing fundamental situation. Okay, I want to get you in the, in the typical throwing position. Every route has one and every drop should get you to this position. So. First of all, I like, if you're looking at your target, I like the non-dominant foot slightly ahead of the dominant foot, all right? I want the shoulders, the front shoulders turned just a little bit so the back number is facing the target. You want to just, I talked to quarterbacks about show a little bit of back number if the camera there is my target, all right? We'll show a little back number. There should be some slight tension in the neck as we, as we can look over to our left so we can see hot to the left-hand side if you're a right-handed quarterback. I like the ball carried at shoulder level. I know there are those coaches that carry it up here. That's not us right now. We carry it right down here at the shoulder level because I think you can move better and, it, and we run some option with our plays and it just is natural to come from the uh, shoulder chest area. I like, and this is, this is key for me, fellas, and I will talk to the quarterbacks about this all the time. I like the dominant shoulder over the dominant foot. 